Hey guys, welcome to The Strong Young Man. Avoid hurting, upsetting, offending or criticising people. Understand that people react to things differently and you can never be sure of how someone will take to something. People have deep insecurities that follow them around throughout their entire life and you do not want to be the person associated with reminding people of their own insecurities. Most of the time, it's not necessary to hurt, upset, offend or criticise someone. If you strike a vulnerability of someone's, you open yourself up to a reaction that is disproportional to what you would expect. Everyone reacts to things differently, and their reaction could be completely different to how you would react. There are people who get violent. There are people who will hold grudges and release it upon you years down the track. There are people who will spend their entire lifetime plotting revenge. There are people who will change their behaviour towards you in a slightly negative way, which could have unforeseen ramifications for you. Understand that if you trigger an insecurity that runs deep with someone, there may be no limit to the toxic behaviour that may spawn from you reminding someone of their emotional trauma. Don't make the mistake of assuming that people are infatuated with your charm and that you can get away with saying whatever you want to say. Words once spoken can never be taken back. Even if you didn't mean to say them and there was no truth in the words, the listener will be forever filled with doubt. Don't criticise anyone who hasn't asked for it. If you need to assert yourself, then leave the criticism out if possible. You will yield a better result. Sometimes you may find yourself in a situation that requires you to be critical because abstaining from criticism will allow them to walk all over you. Be very careful of how you deliver the feedback. Choose your words carefully. Make it short and sweet and most of the time you can get your point across with minimal criticism. Deliver it from a position of inferiority or appear as an equal. You do not want to appear authoritarian in your delivery of criticism as it will trigger twice the resentment. Use the minimum force necessary. From Arthur Schopenhauer's Counsels and Maxims Avoid correcting people's mistakes in conversation, however good your intention may be, for it is easy to offend people and difficult, if not impossible, to mend them. Also, don't make the mistake of treating your inferiors poorly. There is absolutely nothing to be gained by exercising your superiority over someone inferior. Other people will view you as power-hungry or totalitarian. The momentary satisfaction that you get will be far outweighed by the negative experience that the inferior person now associates with you. A person of little importance today may be a person of importance tomorrow. You never know when you'll need someone down the line, and cosmic justice has a funny way of coming back to us. Also, be careful with text messages. Something that you say with innocence can be completely misinterpreted. Tone is not always conveyed very well. Take a look at some of these messages. Spelling mistakes, incorrect grammar, slang, and phone glitches can transform the message entirely. Pause the video now for a laugh. Also, be careful of evangelizing your political and religious beliefs onto others, especially if they don't align with the modern social conventions of the time. These can be very sensitive topics, which can offend small-minded people. Don't make the mistake of assuming that everyone is as open-minded as you are. There will always be those people who are ignorant and outspoken, and aren't afraid to express politically correct ideals that conform to the acceptable standard of the time. These narrow-minded people revel in their supposed moral superiority, and they can be quite dangerous. If you have an open mind that likes to explore unconventional ideas, then it's best to keep these to yourself and blend in with the group. Display conventional behaviours and mouth conventional ideas without believing them. There is no point in making a display of your unique ideas if all it brings is suffering and persecution. Reserve the most interesting and colourful thoughts to a few tolerant friends that you can trust to appreciate your uniqueness. All the while, in the background, you should cultivate and fine-tune your thoughts and beliefs in private. Then when the time is right and you have established security in your power, you can reveal your thoughts and beliefs to a larger group of people to create a cult-like following. If you are a person who already stands out in your power, then it is no extra burden for you to stand out in your beliefs. Understand this so you can use it to your advantage to reach a broader audience. Thanks for watching today's episode. In episode 49, I'll go through how to assert your needs. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when it drops. Catch you then.